Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to add a new RDP user and allow RDP permission in Windows Server 2012 or 2016. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. First, we will see the prerequisites. First one is you must have a VPS or dedicated server with Windows Server 2012 or 2016 installed. The second one is you must be logged into it through RDP Remote Desktop as an administrative user. Let's continue the video. In this video tutorial. First, we will see how to add a new RDP user in Windows Server 2012 or 2016. Second, we will see how to assign remote desktop RDP permission to the newly created user. Let's see how to add a new RDP user in Windows Server 2012 or 2016. Here, we have used Windows Server 2016 as an example. Go to the taskbar and click on the Windows Start button. After then go to the Windows Server option and select Windows Administrative Tools option. Click on it. Once you click on it, one window will be opened with the name Administrative Tools. Select the Computer Management option and right-click on it. Click on the Open option to open it. By clicking on it, one new window will be opened with the name Computer Management. Go to the Local Users and Groups option and click on the arrow sign to expand it. After then click on the Users option. Once you click on it, all the users will appear which is created by you or the system. To create a new user, go to the upper right side of the screen and click on the More Actions option. After then click on the New User option. Once you click on it, one new window will be opened with the name New User. In the Username field, enter the name which you want to add. Here, we have used Nick as an example. In the full name field, you have to enter the full name of the user which you have added in the username field. Here, we have used Nick R as an example. If you want you can use the same name which you have added in the username field. In the description field, you have to enter the purpose of the user creation. Here, we have entered. This account is created for a video tutorial for AccuWeb Hosting. In the password field. Enter the password which you want to set. In the Confirm Password field. Enter the same password which you have entered in the Password field. Uncheck the box User Must Change Password at Next Logo and tick the box password never expires. By doing this, you can use your password without being reminded constantly by Windows to change it. After then click on the create button to create a user. Once you click on it, the user will be created. Click on the close button to close the window. You can see that new user is created under name column. Let's see how to assign Remote Desktop RDP permission to the newly created user. 
In order to assign remote desktop permission to the newly created RDP users, you will have to add that RDP user to the remote desktop users group. Go to the left side of the screen and click on the groups option located under local users and groups option. Once you click on it, you will see all groups created by the system. If you want to assign administrative access to the newly created user then select Administrators Groups. Since we want to assign remote desktop access to the user, search the remote desktop user group in the group list and select it. After then right click on it. Go to the Properties option and click on it. By clicking on it. One window will be opened with the name Remote Desktop User Properties. Go to the Add button and click on it. Once you click on it, one new window will be opened with the name Select Users. Enter the username which you have created recently in the field Enter the object names to select. Here, we have entered Nick because we have created it recently. After then click on the check names option. Once you click on it, you will see your fully qualified username. Click on the OK button. By clicking on the OK button, you will see the user under the members option. After then click on the OK button to add it. Here, we have successfully created a new RDP user and assign remote desktop permission to it. Now it is time to check whether we are able to log in into the Windows Server with newly created user or not. Close all the windows which are open. Go to the Windows Start button and click on it. After then click on the User Sign option. Select Sign Out option and click on it to sign out from the administrator user. Please be informed that here, we are using Windows 10 OS in our local system. Go to the search box located on the taskbar. Type Remote Desktop in the search field. Once you type Remote Desktop in the search field, you will see Remote Desktop Connection option above. Click on it. Once you click on it, one window will be open. In the Computer field, enter the IP address of your Windows VPS or dedicated server. Here, we have used this IP address as an example. After then click on the connect button. Once you click on it, one window will be opened with the name Windows Security. Here, you can see the username is already set as an administrator. In order to log in with another user click on the More Choices link. Select the option Use a different account and click on it. Now, you can see that you have an option to add a custom username. In the Username field, enter the username which you have created. Here, we have used Nick because we have created it recently. In the Password field, enter the password of the user which you have set during creation. Click on the OK button. Once you click on the OK button, you will see SSL certificate warning message. You have to ignore this warning message and tick on the box. Don't ask me again for connections to this computer. Click on the Yes button to connect to your Windows VPS. This process may take a few seconds to complete.
Congratulations, you are successfully logged in into your Windows VPS with a newly created user. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to add a new RDP user and allow RDP permission in Windows Server 2012 or 2016. Hope. This video will be helpful for you. If you like this video, please click on the thumb button. Please click on the subscribe button if you want to view such easy to understand technical videos published by AccuWebHosting.com. Thank you for watching.